everybody and welcome to today's story which is Jack and the Beanstalk. But before we start our story today I'd just like to say hello to somebody who I know has been enjoying these puppet shows a lot. So hello Pat, hello. Can we all say hello to Pat if I count us in? One, two, three. Hello Pat. So hopefully Pat heard all her hellos there. So on with the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Now, there's a bit in the story where the giant repeats a few lines and he says, Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. So that gets repeated throughout the story. So I thought that'd be good fun if you could join in with me when we do that bit. So if I say the line, you repeat it back, that'll help you to remember it. See if you can do it in your best giant voices. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Well done, everybody. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead. I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Oh, well done, everybody. Give yourselves a big clap. So if you want to, in your best giant voices, you can join in that bit when we get to it. Okay, so here's the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. So once upon a time, there lived a little boy called Jack. And he lived with his mum in a little cottage in the woods. But they were not very rich people. And soon all their money ran out. Oh no, Mum, what are we going to do? asked Jack one day. Never mind, Jack, said Mum. I've got an idea. Take the cow to market and sell her and hopefully we'll get lots of money. Oh, OK, Mum. And Jack, make sure that you get a really good price for her. OK, Mum. So the next day, Jack set off for market with the cow. And presently, he came across a man walking down the road. Hello, little boy. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to market to sell the cow. But the market's such a, such a long way away and I'm really worn out and tired already. Oh, that is a very delightful cow you've got there, said the man. I'll tell you what, I'll buy him off you. Oh, would you? That'd be amazing. Thank you, kind sir. How much will you give me for him? Well, I just happen to have five magic beans in my pocket. Five magic beans? Oh, I don't know if my mum will go for that. But they're magic beans, Jack. Oh, 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 how did you know my name? Oh, well, do you know what? I'm really, really tired, so, oh, yeah, I'll take their magic beans in exchange for the cow. That's a really good idea. So the man gave Jack the magic beans and, and he took the cow away. And Jack went home very happy. Oh, mum's going to be so pleased when I show her these magic beans. But when he got home, you've guessed it, Mum was not pleased. Hey, hello Jack, I see you've sold the cow. What did you get for him? Oh Mum, look, I've got these five magic beans. What? Beans? Five beans? For our marvellous cow? Oh, they're not just any old beans, Mum. They're magic. Oh, Jack, don't be so silly. There's no such thing as magic beans. Oh, now we're going to go hungry. Go to bed. And Mum sent Jack to bed. And with that, she threw the magic beans out into the garden. And she went to bed herself. That night, Jack kept thinking about these magic beans. And he had the most amazing dreams. When he woke up in the morning, it was rather dark outside. Oh, I wonder why it's dark. He opened his curtains and he saw the most amazing Beanstalk had grown from where his mum had thrown the beans. <gasps> Look at that, it goes all the way up to the sky, said Jack. I'm going to go on an adventure. I'm going to climb up that beanstalk. And that's exactly what he did. He climbed up and up and up and up and all the way to the clouds. When Jack got to the top of the beanstalk, he had a really good look around. God. I can see a big castle over there in the distance. I think I'm going to go walk up to it and, and have a little look inside. So that's what he did. 
It was a long, long way and Jack soon got tired. He kept going. When Jack got to the castle, he saw it was very, very big. God, this, this castle must belong to a giant, he thought. And he hid to see what was going to happen next. Presently, the giant came home from work and he sniffed around. Get ready. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Did you join in? Should we do that one again? Remember, best giant voices. Here we go. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead. I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Don't be silly, said his wife. You can't smell anything. Sit and have your dinner. So the giant sat and ate his dinner. Oh, Jack hid in the corner. He was very, very scared. After he had his dinner, the giant got a big chest of money and he started to count all of his gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, there was so much gold counting it. It was like counting flying pigs for the giant and he soon fell fast asleep. <laughs> out from his hiding place and he looked in the giant's treasure box. Oh, look at all that gold! Mum would be so pleased with me if I take that back. Oh, that's just what I'm going to do. And he shut the treasure chest and he took it and he climbed all the way down the beanstalk and he called for his mum. Mum, mum, quick, quick! What is it, Jack? said mum. He was soon still a little bit annoyed with Jack for selling the cow for five magic beans. Mum, look! Look at this! And he gave Mum the treasure chest full of gold. When Mum looked inside, she was over the moon. Oh, Jack, you good, clever boy! Now we're going to be rich! And they were. And for a little while, Jack was very, very happy. But one day he woke up and he thought, Do you know what? I'm going to go on another adventure. I'm going to climb that magic beanstalk again. And that is what he did. And he climbed up, 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 all the way to the clouds. And he walked along the really, really long path. He didn't mind this time that it was really long because he knew at the end of it lay the giant's castle. And he sneaked into the giant's castle and he hid in his hiding place. Presently, the giant came home from work again. He had to work really, really hard to make up for all the money that he'd lost. He came in, hello wife, and he started sniffing. <laughs> Are you ready? Fee, fi, fo, thumb, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Did you join in? Shall we do it again? Fee, fi, fo, thumb, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Oh, calm down, husband. Why don't you have a little play with your golden goose and his golden eggs? Hmm, that sounds like a good idea. I'll just fetch it, wife. So he fetched his golden goose. And as Jack watched... To his amazement, the goose lay a golden egg, and another one, and another one. Oh, wow, thought Jack, and Mum would be really pleased with that. So when the giant went off to bed, you've guessed it, Jack ran up to the golden goose with a golden egg, and he took him, and he climbed down the beanstalk, all the way home to where his mum was. Mum, mum, look what I brought you this time said Jack. Oh Jack, what is, oh Jack, a golden goose. Oh, it's not just any old golden goose. Mum, look, it can lay golden eggs. 
Oh, Jack, you clever boy, that's such a clever thing to get because we've nearly run out of money. Now with all these golden eggs, we'll be rich forevermore because the golden goose can just lay us a new one. Oh, Jack, you're a very, very good boy. And Jack and his mum, again, they were happy for a while, but then Jack got restless again. Oh, I think I'm going to go on just one more adventure. So he climbed up the beanstalk all the way up, all the way to the clouds. And this time he skipped along the road. He was really, really happy to be going back to the giant's castle. He opened the door and he hid in his hiding place again. Presently, the giant came home. The giant had been really, really cross because not only had he lost all of his money, he'd lost his favourite golden goose that lay all the golden eggs. So he was in a real grumpy mood today. Wife, what's that I can smell? The fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Should we do it one more time? The fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. <gasps> Jack got a bit worried this time because the giant almost found him. Oh, husband, don't be silly. Why don't you fetch your lovely harp and play some music? Okay, wife, that's a good idea. So the giant went, got his lovely harp, and started playing some music. And the harp was beautiful. Played the most beautiful music in the world. And soon the giant fell fast asleep. <gasps> Mum would love that harp, said Jack. I'm going to sneak up to that giant and I'm going to take it. So he snuck up to the giant and he took the harp and he started to climb, run away to climb down the beanstalk. But the harp was a magical harp and it started singing, Master, Master, help me, help me, someone is stealing me. And the giant woke up. Oh no, said Jack, and he quickly ran down the beanstalk. But the giant had woken up and he was following Jack. And he climbed down, down the beanstalk too. Oh no, what am I going to do, thought Jack. The giant is going to come and get me. But with that, he picked up the axe and he chopped at the beanstalk. Chop, 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 chop. And the beanstalk broke. And the giant fell. Ah! And the giant was never seen again. And Jack and his mum? Well... They lived a happy life in the end and they shared all their golden eggs of all everybody in the village with all their friends and everyone was very happy, apart from the poor giant. The end. Take care everybody.